previously on Banner Saga. What is this mess about? Looks like a full-scale battle happened recently. Maybe we'll see something from the tower. How far I'll search the buildings and make sure there's no threats waiting to spring on us. Hakon, I think you should take a look at this. I think this man is a manga. That raises more questions than it answers. Where are we? A day or two from Grofheim. We found you at the Tower of Ridgehorn. What were you doing there? She is dead. I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. Not what I had hoped to hear. Not so sort of what I was hoping. Come on, Obin. Sooner we get to Grofheim, the better. Hello guys and welcome, my name is Ethereum and today we're gonna play the next part of the Banner Saga but before we start playing I wanna thank you all for supporting me and my channel. We hit our first milestone of 50 awesome subscribers so I wanted to express my gratitude to all of you. You are amazing and you give me strength to keep going so thank you, thank you so much. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I usually upload a video once every 5 days and I will try to stay on schedule at all times. I tend to continue creating Woma Cinemas and I already have an ongoing project, but I'm testing some new Cinema tools, so it might take some time. Alright, so, without further delay, let's see what adventure awaits us. Also, let me tell you that we are changing sides again, so goodbye Hakon, we will talk later, dude. And guess what? We are going to check Rook's gang with your daughter Aled, Obleif and of course Ivor, my favorite character so far. What did I tell you, Rook? The man has a crazed look about him. He stands, axe pointing in your direction, on the other side of a dozen men. Iko, you son of a bitch. Remember what I said? Think carefully about what you want. This is what you get. Iko walks away, leaving you to deal with his thugs. Oh, great. So we battle. And as I see, oh man, this moment for me is, is, is unique. Because I see Ivor again. Look at those characters, what a lovely moment to kill some humans here. So let's put Ivor first to make the first blood and the first kill again I guess. Oh, I love the way you, you, you're hitting your seal Ivor. Oh, I think they got a lot of archers here. So after killing this guy, no, I can't kill that yet. Okay, we need to have uh, to put some priorities. Oh come on, don't hit Rook. So we need to put some more priorities to kill the range units first, so because uh, they are more dangerous than the melee, believe me. Uh, that lady has different cape, as I see. Different color of the capes that they got. Uh, let me put first Rook to safety and kill that guy so he can save himself and his daughter. Anyway, I was saying that you have to make priorities to kill the range units if you can first. Because sometimes when you got a lot of melee units to your team, it's going to be painful. Especially when you want to reach the target and you might need another 10 to do that. So try to do that from the beginning of the battle. Okay, let's move a glaive over there, so we can be close to the other archer. Oh, you decided to join us. That's great. That will be much easier to kill you now. Okay, let's kill the last melee from the enemies. However, you, you do a great job, man. Thank you. I'm honored. Uh, driving you don't have you can't do anything from this turn so 
let's let the Arthur hit again. So let's kill this one. Can we do it? Let's see. Of course we can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want. You're not going to do anything now. The best choice for you it was just to run away. But unfortunately, I have to kill you. So goodbye. Yeah. We got our victory. This this match was an uh, easy one, and we got two promotions as I see here. That's great. And we get how many rainbow points? Uh, Eleven renown points. Hmm. Okay, let's continue and see what's going on. Hate to admit it, Rook, but you're right. We can't stay here. If we're not murdered in our sleep, it's only a matter of time before the dreads find their way in. There's nobody defending these walls. You spot a lead looking at one of the thugs. She cocks her head to the side. Uh, Dad? I think he's still alive. Ivor lifts him to his feet by his tunic. He groans from the pain. Why did Ikil try to kill us? He's a damned lunatic. Figure that yet? Why would Frostrail's chieftain put a madman in charge of his guards? That what he told you? Huh. He never put Ikil in charge. Soon as those gates were shut, Ikil walked into the great hall and sliced open the chieftain like narwhal. So it myself. Ikil was not a captain. Look at him. Okay, so, uh, if this dude on F is right, then Ikil is not only crazy and crazy eye, he's also a liar. So our options here is, he was playing us, I will kill that bastard, enough of this, it's time to go. I think the best choice is to say, he was playing us. Can't say I'm too surprised. This whole place is a death trap. Where can we go? By now the dreads have already flooded the south, I'm sure. Wimto's the only thing that makes sense across the wastes. I might know someone there who can help us. And the dreads probably won't follow us out over into the wastes. They didn't in the Great Wars. Because it's a death sentence? Food's already running low. I know where Ikil keeps his supplies, I will tell you, if you take me with you. Okay, I don't trust Onef, but let's see what options we got. Stop the guy up, what's the cuts, how do you know where the supplies are? Hmm, that's interesting. Ikil will have us bring scraps to the refugees. Why would he do that? If the threats found live bodies, he thought they would leave the city alone. That's the worst thing. Get the supplies, and there are plenty of fighters who are desperate to get out of here. That might solve a few problems. Yeah, I agree with you, Ivor. So it's worth the risk if we're lucky he'll get the chance to put a dagger in Nikhil. No deal, suck him up and let's get out of here. I think I'll select the first choice. It's worth the risk. Because I don't want to kill a crazy dude. I'm not that kind of person, so... If nothing else, Nikhil's going to feel it when his food suddenly vanishes. What's your name? Onef. Why do you... Just wanted to know whose face I'm going to break if things go wrong. Alright, let's see if Onef is telling the truth, so let's go to the supplies. Onef leads you to an conspicuous building. This is them. He says to the handful of guards inside, who lower their weapons. In a concealed basement, you find an enormous store of food and some tries. Grab what you can. He mutters. Okay, so we got three choices here. Make multiple trips to take everything. Nah, I don't think so. 
take what you can and get out, take what you can and destroy the rest. I'm not gonna destroy the rest. I'm not a greedy person, so take what you can and get out. The entire store of goods will take a long time to gather. You have each person the caravan make pass through and take what they can. Before too long, Onef has led you out of the city with his trusted fighters. You prepare to leave the city behind. Oh, that's great news. Finally, we can continue our journey. So we get the supplies, got some fighters more, and now it's time to leave. Outside the walls, things are a mess. Threads are everywhere. Fortunately, they are going around the hill on which Frostfrail sits, heading south, and so little interest in following as you cross into the wastes. You are finally free of Frostfrail, but find yourself facing new problems. You hope that whoever I ever knows at Wintos is willing to help. Finally, we're on the road again, so goodbye Frostfell. We got a new destination now, Wintos, so let's sing along together while we're making our journey. There is a long road into the wastes. Oh, as I see here, our crew morale is down a little bit, so I have to get camped and sleep a couple of nights I guess so let's put rest I need more I want the crew to be happy ah like that I love this face I love it yeah that's what I'm talking about so let's keep up guys let's see <laughs> The caravan is buzzing with worry. In the distance someone has spotted a large number of dark figures following you. The dreads! Cries one woman, but something about it tells you that they don't quite look like dreads. Gods be damned, talks Onef, standing on one of the cards to get a better view. Worse than dreads, that's equal. The news spreads throughout the clansmen like wildfire. Ikil? Why would he... Starts on Leif. Unless he's after you, Onef. He's insane. Interjects Onef. And unpredictable. That's a good number of fighters with him. Your mind races considering what to do. Okay, this is a tough one, I guess. So we got four choices. Outpace him. Dig in for a fight. Lead the charts, keep him away from the caravan, or try to work things out peacefully. Hmm. So, if we are going to outpace him, we're gonna get tired, because uh, we will never know if Ikil and his army will ever stop after us. So, I'm not going to select that. The options 2 and 3 are similar, but the third option is much better than the second, because I guess we are going to save the supplies. And the last option is to work things out peacefully, and even I want that, I can't trust Iku. So I think I will select the third option, lead a charge, keep him away from the caravan. You gather Oneth, your allies and fighters, and head out into the wastes, weapons thrown, where the caravan won't be involved. Rook, my good friend. He says as you approach, throwing his axe on the ground. We come to parley, not fight. Why would I believe a word you say? Rook, we're good friends. What happened? You tried to kill us. Just go back to Frostfell and leave us alone. Ah, Rook, it's your pretty girl. I'm glad nothing happened to her with the threats, I mean. My friends, how could I forget everything you have done for me? Broke into my city, took my warriors, took my food, took one of my best men. How are you, Onef? Do they treat you well? Sew it up your ass, Siko. If you came out here to kill me, let's get it over with. Nothing like that. You must think you know me or people like me. What would Onef tell you? I'm crazy? I haven't survived because I'm crazy. 
I did what had to be done to make it in Frostville. The only mistake I made was you. What kind of man are you, Rook? You look like an average man to me. A man worried about his dollar, maybe. Just making his way. But then look behind you. How many people is that? They follow you, fight for you. Why? What kind of man are you? You know, guys, why it's creepy every time I'm talking to Ikki with a crazy eye, I wonder. Anyway, let's see our options. I'm nobody special. I'm doing my best like everyone else. The kind who does what needs to be done. Or I protect my king. Okay, I'm nobody special and I protect my king. I think it's not necessary. So let me choose between those two. Uh, I think I'm gonna select I'm doing my best like everyone else because that's what I'm trying to do here so let's select that yeah we are all doing our best why are you their leader why do they all look up to you who do these people think you are you saved them you're a hero Maybe that's more important than who you really are. What's your point, Ikyo? I'm your prisoner, Rook. Bide my hands. Frostvale is done. I can't survive there thanks to you, my good friends. You may not have cut my throat, but you sentenced us to death. I don't believe that's who you are. Is this some kind of apology? You can't trust me, I know that. Take me and my men as prisoners if that's what it takes. Ikyo looks down at the ground and the words come slowly to him. I'm not above begging. Oh, let's just hope that it isn't a trap, something like that. So let's see our options, take Ikil and his men as prisoners, abandon them in the wastes, ask Onef his opinion, kill Ikil on the spot, let them join you on strict terms. Hmm. If I take Ikil and his, prisoner, uh, and his men as prisoners, I don't think that is a good idea, so if I ask Onef his opinion, I think it will be nice, but no, I shall, I shall decide by myself. A battle them in the waste is not a good idea at all. Kill you kill on the spot the same. So I'm gonna say let them join you on strict terms. We need fighters. You fight the dreads just like the rest of us. You fight for everyone now, not just yourselves. And if you even look the wrong way at a single man, woman or child in this caravan, there will be no hesitation about killing you on the spot. You do us a greater honor than I had hoped, Rook. These people are right to follow you. You will have no trouble from us. I may be reckless, but I pay my debts. The caravan eyes them suspiciously, but they try to fit in, following your orders. You expect to hear complaints about this. Things are definitely becoming complicated. Well... Thanks to the choice that I made, I don't think Rook will ever sleep again. Unless I ever watch Rook's back while he's sleeping. And I think we did something here. Oh, I see people over there. And they got some tents to leave, as I see. You find a surprising number of people camped out at the Godstone. They have been here quite a while ever since the sun stopped. Apparently they think Randormir, the sun god, has come back and they are worshipping him despite the bleak environment. They welcome the caravan, mingling and shopping stories with the others while you rest. They have almost nothing of value to trade, but their leader approaches and offers to let you join in their tribute. Tribute. So we got four choices here, accept their offer, ask of what this tribute involves, politely decline and move on, decline and inspect the godstone before leaving. I will select the second one, 
ask what this tribute involves? Just because I'm curious to see what they offer. Golden Fury! One says, sewing you a golden liquid in a silver bowl. He places some on his chest, which almost sounds like it's sizzling, and explains through cleansed teeth it's a gift from the sun god, an oil that burns like the sun and lets them see things clearly. Well, I still don't have a clue about this stuff, so let me just see if anyone in the caravan is interested. Why not? Not surprisingly, you find no takers. You wonder how devoted you would have to be to go in for it yourself. Okay, and we blew it up. Let's inspect the godstone before departing. Yeah. Nobody can really agree on what Radromi looked like, as fond as he was of his own isolation. He never directly conducted humanity. Most think he was a serpent that lived in the sun and it's not uncommon to hear speak of seeing the tail of a great creature slipping through the thin clouds on a sunny day. Radromir was always one of the lucky gods, the kind who people thanked for good weather, healthy livestock and a good harvest. Despite all that, the biggest mystery has always been how his godstone came to be found at the bottom of a dried out lake. After some rest you continue on. The sun god worshippers are keen to stay, so you pack your things and return to the road. Yeah, we better get out of here because we waste a lot of time to those guys. So let's see. Oh, my morale here is not good at all, so I have to go camp and sleep a little bit. But. Yeah, a little bit more, I guess. I'll need to see that smile again on your face. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay, guys. I'm gonna leave this episode here. I can't wait to play the next episode, though. Because we got the crazy eye a kill with us. And maybe we are gonna have a lot of surprises than before. Can Rook can sleep again? Did we did the right sources here? Is Ivor gonna save us all? We got a lot of questions and I'm curious to see how the story goes on the next episode. So, if you want to see more of this game, let me know by commenting below and leaving a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to support me. Thank you for watching guys. Until next time everybody, take care, bye bye.